Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiabu. It is Tuesday morning, and that of course means more dumbbells. Uh, woke up this morning. Actually, um, somebody recommended that I check out the Anime Freak release of this instead of the Horrible Subs, which I've been using because it's just the fastest, uh, like, rip from, from streaming providers. Um, recommended that I use the Anime Freak release because they apparently have typesetting and a, uh, fully subbed and typeset Opian ED. However, the Anime Freak release still hasn't come out, and it's like 11.20, um, so I'm not going to wait any longer. Uh, I kind of just want to watch the episode. So, yeah. Yikes. Yikes. So we're back to normal release. There won't be a subbed OP or ED. Um, you can probably find it on YouTube if you want to. It's worth checking out. It's good subs. Fun fun lyrics. Um, so, more Dumbbell Girls. Uh, t teacher got invested last last time. I don't know if we're going to meet a new character or do more stuff or we're probably we're going to learn an exercise. There will be probably another exercise that we'll learn that will be a little bit easier that we'll have a section at the end where we'll do it all together. Should be a good time all in all. Um, and probably some more sections where we talk about just like general fitness stuff or recommendations, advice, diet advice, that kind of stuff. We still need to, to like figure out how to get our girl's diet like down or like in line. Because she's still eating like crazy. I, I mean, she's got the metabolism for it, but if you're trying to lose weight, you got to do both. Got to do both. Um, had a pretty good morning this morning. Woke up, lifted, did my, my squat, overhead press, bent over row. It's always a good time. Feels good. Lats are sore. Feels great. Um, let's, watch, let's watch some dumbbells. I have it up. It is at zero seconds. There will be multiple versions of this reaction video. You can find the picture-in-picture -picture version with the video up there in the description down there. Timer-based version up on YouTube. Discussion at the end. BP timer at the beginning. Let's do it. Recording's good. We're good. Hey, doing those little little shoulder circles. All right. <laughs> Don't run into anything, hey, Biki. Uh huh? Oh, whoa. Summer? <laughs> mm. All the time. Mm.
Yay, convenient. <laughs> Super cool time. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they had just translated it super core time. Uh, uh, uh. At least there's nobody curling in your squat rack. So, what are we going to do instead? Hey, of course they are. Good, good boys. Using up all the, all the barbells. <laughs> Sad but true. <laughs> Every year. What have you got for us? Ah! Ishk. Or wait, this is a push one. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I hate him. I hate him a lot. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Free weights. Yep. Full range of motion. E yeah, sweaty people sweat. I mean, yeah, you can do isolation exercises, but... You don't need to if you're doing full body compounds. It's not necessary. Okay, I guess it's necessary. <laughs> yes, he does. You know he does. And if those are your weak point, then you can't train your chest further. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But it also means that you're not training those support muscles, which is a bit of an issue. <laughs> it's, it's imbalance. Thank you, Dumbbell. <laughs> mm hmm Gotta get that muscle confusion. <laughs> I'm sorry, if there are any fitnesses in here, you, you know that I'm just memeing. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I'd rather wait for the bench or just like offer to spot somebody and work in. I guess that's harder in a, a more crowded, like bigger commercial gym, though. Mm, teacher? Nope. Okay. Hi. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh. Okay, cool. Sweet.
Macho, macho. Yeah, just wait. <laughs> just, just wait for him to explode. <laughs> Rip. Where are we headed? Oh, okay. Mm. You could try. <laughs> huh? No, what do we do? There's something really interesting about that set of walk cycles. I, I don't know. Oh. Oh. He 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 he. Uh huh. Do you, do you have a home gym? Oh. Hmm. Fair, fair. Sometimes gyms are a social thing, too. Sometimes people don't want to be social, though. <laughs> what you got? Calisthenics. Diction Dictionary of exercises by body region. I love the way that, that all the, the clumps of pages fall over. That was actually, I'm going to time step that. If I can find a pencil, which I can't. Rip. Nothing wrong with that. Mmm. Great exercise. <laughs> You just moonwalked into position. And down. Hmm.
I want to grind all the way through. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. Yep, you can do those on a bench or on your bed. I always found them to be rather stressful on my shoulders, though. So, something to take care of. The animation for that whole section was great. So much weird distortion and, and crazy stuff. It was great. Hey! You would expect boxers to have a really strong triceps and chest because of all of the punching and the training for it. Mm. Oh. In most gyms, you can find like a, a belt that has a chain on the bottom that you can wrap through um, plates and, and they'll hang between your legs for doing pull-ups or dips. Really useful. Hey. Yikes. <laughs> I don't think she needs it, but good offer. <laughs> oh no. Hmm? <laughs> yep, just them. Doubt it. <laughs> You're probably going to end up with them. the beach closed or something why is it so empty it's kind of weird oh dangerous living things oh so i'm guessing this is the scene where in the op we run on the beach oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, wait a second. <laughs> Run on the sand. 
It sucks. <laughs> oh. Push up, part of a squat, a little hop. Yeah, and getting your heart rate way up way fast. Hop, boom, hop, up. Yes. Yeah, you want some space. Uh, you know what? Thank you, Dumbbell. Feel the burn. <laughs> They're just charging through it. Uh, oh, I guess everybody's in. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, they're just pumped up. Mm. Wonderful do burpees or chest press. Hmm. Dips. Forgot about that one. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, the chair that I'm sitting on right now is a wobble stool, so it wobbles. So I can't really use it. <laughs> Wait, I could try. Oh, it's really wobbly, though. Oh, jeez, it's really wobbly.
Ah. Ah. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> Moves too much. Because, like, it spins, but it also wobbles on its base. So it's not, not good for this. Nice book. Okay, pretty standard, really fun episode. Uh, no new character introductions, plenty of new workout introductions. Talking about general general gym stuff as one of the segments. It gets crowded in the summer, and there are peak hours, absolutely. Um, especially, especially if you're in like a commun community gym or like a, the only gym in an area, um, or a school gym or a college gym. When I was when I was in college, my my three I, I lived in a a flat of four uh, a dorm room with four people, so two of us to a room, two rooms in the in the house, and then a living room, kitchen, bathroom, all that stuff. Um, and we all we all got into lifting. Uh, first, me and and my roommate were into lifting, and then once we all like moved in together and became a new quad, uh, the other two got into it with us as well, and they were both already pretty athletic, so. They picked it up really quickly. Um, so we would, all, we would all go to the gym together. And eventually, like, we would usually, uh, during our first year, we would start out by going at, like, 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Just because that's when nobody had classes and we'd already eaten lunch. So we were feeling fueled up and feeling pretty good for it. Um, and then we would we'd go to the gym. It would take a long time because it was crowded. So we'd have to wait. We'd all work in our sets with each other because we were all on the same lifting schedule, essentially. Um... Oh, by the way, I mentioned this earlier in the video, but working in, right? So if somebody, for example, if somebody's using a bench press, you could ask to work in with them, um, assuming that the vibe is right and the environment is right. You could ask to work in with them. And usually what that'll consist of is like, you'll spot their lifts, they'll spot your lifts, and you just switch out um, after doing a set because each of you has to take rest breaks in between sets. Uh, you'll switch out in between a set, switch the weights over to whatever the other person's lifting. It's nice if they're pretty close because then you don't have to move a lot of weight in between. It takes less time. And then you do your set, they spot you, switch out, switch out until you're both done. Uh, so we, we would do that and then we would head over to the cafeteria get dinner. But uh, because that's the time when there aren't really a lot of classes and everybody's already eaten lunch and all this stuff, it was super crowded every time. So we started... Uh, all together, just like as a way to get better, <laughs> to better ourselves, we started all waking up pretty early in the morning on Monday, Wednesday, Friday when we went and lifted. Um, so we would all try to get to the gym by like 7.30 a.m. Um, and we would eat, we would lift fasted, so lift without actually consuming any calories beforehand. And then we would head over and just like gorge on breakfast at the calf. It was so good. It was lit. We kept that up for like two and a half years of college. Um, until senior year when shit got crazy and hectic, but for a while we would go early morning specifically to avoid this kind of rush. So very, very real, very true, very true. Um, so chest machine, there, there really is nothing wrong with using isolation machines or isolated workouts. Um, as far as like efficiency though, I'm, I'm always going to fall on the side of full body compound movements. So, uh, squat, bench, deadlift, OHP. Or overhead press, uh, bent over row, and there are there are a few others that you can mix in there as well. Dips, pull ups, um, you could do lunges if you wanted to, stuff like that. Um, and the reason that I prefer those is because they 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 they're balanced. Uh, each motion requires an entire like set of your body. So up. A, 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 a bench press requires all of your upper body pushing force. It, it works your, your front deltoids. It works your triceps. It, it works your chest. It works everything there. And you have to keep your, your core tight. And like you, you send the stress of the bench press, if you're doing it correctly, down all the way through your entire core to your feet. So you're, you've got strain everywhere. Um, and what that means is like all of the smaller muscles – there's a, a balancing act because all of the smaller muscles become your limiters. They become the things that give out under strain before your chest does, for example, because that's the, the big mover in the system. They give out first, um, but that's 
like I think that's a good thing because that means that's the amount of stress that that whole system, that whole pushing system can actually handle. Um, and li likewise, like if you only do the isolation exercises, then you're neglecting those smaller muscles. And if you do try to push an equivalent weight using the whole system, uh, it's going to fail and you could get injured. Um, I much prefer the balanced concept uh, of, of large compound motions because they're the way that your body is meant to move. Again, though, it's not necessarily a knock against the chest press or, or any isolation exercise for that matter. Um, I just prefer free weights. I prefer to work your stabilizers. It's a, a more complete motion in my mind. Whatever. So, 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 we do some presses. It's a good time. Um, boxing girl is going to join the gym. There's this, uh, there's this walk cycle, this one. I don't know what it is about this, but it feels really good. Like, if you look at the sandals on the, the, the girl on the far left, eh, I guess it's not super well matched to the background. I can't tell if this seems wonky or really great. Because there, there are three independent walk cycles at different, like, different timings. It's interesting. I don't know. That shot caught my attention, but I'm not sure why. So she lives in a crazy huge mansion. Whew. This whole video is nuts. Um, the the like the lighting from below to to create this like this this incredible definition all over him. The the crazy crazy facial expressions, really weird stuff. The this moment where he he flips his legs over so fast that like. It it almost implies that he's nude and he just moves so fast that you couldn't see it. But of course, he's wearing a thong. And then uh, they they made this guy so goofy and distorted. Like I don't know, he's he's more cartoonish than any of the other characters we've seen so far. Like this scene where he does this flip around butt butt wave thing. This is this is a great cut. It's really weird, but there's a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> this is a great cut. So then he introduces us to dips because everybody's bored of of all the other stuff. And then there there are more really weird uh like distortions in the scene where he he comes up like yeah here. No. No. Yeah there okay. This one gets real close, sort of flips into the camera like that. It's great. He's super smiley. You can kind of see where Machio gets some of his stuff from. So then we break some chairs and there's a great gag about them being super antiques. <laughs> Lovely. Go to the beach. Is closed. Damn. And then we do some burpees. Burpees are hard. If you've, if you've never done some burpees before, try that out. They're rough. They're rough. Try them, the, the push-up variant. I like the, the push-up variant a lot better. It feels... Uh, Feels more complete. I don't know. Anyway, this was a fun episode. Dumbbell's still good. You probably expected that Dumbbell was still good. It is. Ta-da! Alright, I've been Tia Boo. This has been Dumbbell, episode 4. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I hope to catch you next week in the next one. Peace.